This is the most elite unit of the Italian military police. In fact, only 0.1% of the Carabinieri are in the GIS. So let's take a look at what makes them stand out before we cover some of the most impressive missions by them. Let's start off with the training. The under 34 year old candidates have to pass physical and psychological tests first. 35 push ups in one minute and 1.5 kilometers in only six and a half minutes are only few of the minimum requirements. That might sound easy for you, but until now, 70% of the candidates have already failed. Then the kinda athletic 30% get it with about a year and 9 months of training. First they learn advanced disciplines like military parachuting, camouflage, combat in urban areas or military police activities. Only after that there are the basics like firearm training, climbing, martial arts or even photography. And finally there's the specialized course where they learn the advanced skills like skiing, assault on aircraft or guerrilla and counter guerrilla tactics. After all of this the recruit is now a member of the GIS and has to specialize on one specific area and trade for it every day. Oh and you don't get to choose it. Anyways some of these areas include combat medicine, sniping, specific parachuting techniques and being instructors of different combat disciplines. Okay, but why is there a need for all of that? Well, their tasks are very high risk. For example, they do hostage rescue, protection and capture facilities, escorts and counter-terrorism in general. During all of this, you don't want them to get killed, right? So you got to train them as much as possible for that not to happen. Before we take a look at some of these dangerous missions, let's get a quick overview of its history first. In the 1970s, Italy saw a wave of local terrorism, so many special forces units were established, like the Gruppo di Intervento Speciale in 1978. The first ever members were from the 1st Carabinieri Paratrooper Regiment, called Tuscania. They were trained by other special forces units, like the SAS or GSG-9. In 2001, they joined the Atlas Network, which is basically many special forces police units of the European Union, and in 2004 it officially became a special forces unit itself. Now let's get to the juicy part, the missions. On May 19, 2000, a 15 year old was kidnapped in Turin by four people while she was leaving school. They demanded a billion lire, which is about half a million euros in today's money, but nobody paid them. So they started to think about killing the hostage. Because of this, on June 6th at 10pm, a Hercules C-130 with HIS members and two members of another Carabinieri unit arrived at the local airport. They observed the hideout and quickly drew up a plan for the whole operation. At 2 a.m. they entered the building and with special devices they found out that the kidnappers were asleep. So they broke into the apartment and without firing a single shot they rescued the hostage and arrested all the kidnappers. This whole operation took just 18 seconds. I mean that was pretty impressive but they also arrested a man who was apparently playing GTA in real life. Let me explain. In 2002 he was wanted for attempted murder and many robberies but what really drew attention to him was that he shot a carabiniere in an attempt to seal his gun. Then he appeared again when he rammed two carabinieri cars and tried running over a carabinieri. Then he drove the wrong direction for a kilometer before crashing. He escaped by foot, shooting at the carabinieri who were chasing him. And as if that wasn't enough, he tried running over a soldier at a military checkpoint. Fortunately, he was later located in his villa and 16 GIS operators made their way there. They climbed the wall around it and blew up the door of the villa. Now it was the moment of truth. Would he resist in his villa and kill some GIS operators? Well, they managed to immobilize everyone present, again without firing a single shot, and they arrested him. Later they found lots of guns and ammo in his villa. But the by far most remarkable mission was in Afghanistan in 2011. The headquarters of a logistics company contracted by the NATO got stormed by a group of Taliban. The Italians reacted quickly, surrounding the building and ordering an evacuation just 10 minutes later. But still, 30 people, including 6 Italians, Italians were taken hostage. So less than 20 men of the task force 45, which is composed of GIS and an Italian Navy special unit, jumped right in. They did what they were best trained for, counter-terrorism. Using helicopters, they penetrated through roofs, windows and doors. Then they precisely wiped out every single terrorist and rescued all the civilians with no dead or even wounded. However, one GIS operator got hurt and two Afghan policemen sadly got killed. Still, the whole operation was praised by Italy because of its brilliancy. Well, overall, it's an excellent unit. It's the not so tough training, the important role and most importantly, all the missions which make it one of the top elite military police units worldwide. So now if you feel like it, you can watch another video of mine to increase the watch time and comment your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.